Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having, but most people do not participate in harassment or any type of harangment, any type of stalking, any type of mobbing. The liars of America do that. Christian right people do that. Police officers who are bastards of Satan do that. This morning the fog is heavy, but that doesn't keep people under cover from the abusers of America. The liars of America like to take people and form them into an image that makes them happy. A liar in a community has been sexually assaulting a homeless man, openly taking advantage of something that he has that's a private issue, trying to destroy his personal records, trying to destroy his personal body, and the American president may be behind it. The liars of America want everybody out loud and proud in their lives, but here's the deal. At no time does anyone's loin, anyone's groin, belong to you. The liar of America thinks he has rights to sexually assault someone, actually shave someone, and interfere with someone's rights online. They like to play someone in and out as if they're having a good time. The liar of the force is always a liar. And the liar in a community across the straight line just made their penitentiary time full force. When you cross the state line stalking, harassing, and sexually assaulting and religiously abusing someone, you made this a federal issue. The Secret Service agents that I know are not pleased with your thinking and openly you keep trying to use the distract and take model to steal stupid, insignificant dollar items. The liar in you says, I'll take this, I'll take that, I'll do this, I'll do that, and openly at no time do you own another human being in any form of what we call today human trafficking.